Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Have you ever had this happen to you? You create some information and this dialog box comes up. As a result of the last operation, elements have been created and or have changed their position on currently unseen stories. What the heck does this mean? Let's get into it. Now, first of all, when you create objects, make sure that you create them on the correct layer. This one here, the floor beams. Now I want to create a foundation plan. So I'm going to go to plan foundation. I'm going to get my beam tool. I want to create some floor beams. I'm going to create some joists. Here I hear the, the beam is 140 by 45. The offset is minus 20, it should be great. I'd like to offset it from that corner there. You can choose the other one if you like. Like that one, this should allow us to align with the edge of the building. We click OK and we start to draw. The first thing that happens, we get a dialog box. The beam is hidden. So what's the problem here? The problem is that my layer combinations turn off my floor beams. So down here, what we need to do is go down to our floor beams, turn those back on, update our layer combination, and now we can draw quite happily. Now you might notice that it's on the wrong side. I'm drawing on the wrong side of that object. So I need to go back to this area up here. Let's change to that corner and I should be able to draw it inside my building. So there it is from there to there. So this comes up. As a result of the last operation, elements have been created and have changed their position. Now what's going on here? I'm going to continue to show you where the, that's ended up. So that particular object has ended up on the sea level. Because it's below our floor, ArchiCAD thinks it should put it down below. So let's delete that. I'm going to go back to my ground floor and have a look at my beam. Now I'm going to give you the solution to this. So Control T or Command T and we need to look at the floor plan and section. Now at the moment it's showing on stories on all relevant stories. Now one of the ways of solving this is say home story only and it will only put this object on the home story. So now watch. We draw the object. There it is and it appears. So now I draw another one and there it is. And now I'm going to offset these because what we're going to create is a floor plan or a framing plan. This is the my floor joists. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to use the multiply. Here's my multiply. The I want to have a spread, and the spread is 450 millimeters. So if I click at that point to start, every 450 millimeters I get another one. And you'll notice that it actually goes a bit too far. So I'll just stop there. So what I'm going to do: select this one, Control D, or Command D. And this is a drag. And if I hit the Option key or the Control key, it makes a copy. Let's do that again. Control D and Option key on a Macintosh, Control key on a Windows machine. So now I've got those parts. If we look at this in 3D, there's my, yeah, you can see my joists underneath. So that's how we solve the problem of that unseen stories. So if you get the unseen stories, the problem is it's creating information in one of these stories that you're not seeing. One of the ways around it is to select your object, Control T, go back here and just check to see where that object is being created. Is it one story up? Is it one story down? So just check that option for show on stories and it should solve your problem. Thanks for watching. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified.